Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to another house tour. Today I'm going to be showing you another new build. This is the Cambridge Show Home by Red Row. It's a four bedroom detached house and it's priced at around £410,000. If you've been following the channel, we actually toured that property there, the Harrogate, which again is around £450,000. If you haven't seen that tour, I'll link it above. And we also just toured the Cambridge, which is a four bed priced at £360,000. That's also a detached house. We're touring loads of new builds all the way across the UK and we look at all the comments to see where we should go next. So make sure you subscribe to see that. Make sure you like this video before we get into it. We're going to go show you around now. And we're currently in Holton, which yeah. is a huge new development. They're basically creating a whole new town. It's massive, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and we're in the Midlands, so we'll put a map on the screen on where exactly we are. Yeah, so we haven't actually been in this house. Yeah, that's another point to say. So we've just done that tour. We thought on this one we would go in for the first time with you guys so it's like we're viewing it with you yes so let's go check it out oh it's so nice and warm in here i love when the show homes have the heating and every <laughs> what what's happened doing? to the door <laughs> shutting the door okay so let's start exploring this is going to be the downstairs wc from the entrance here we are okay it goes around the corner okay. that's a really spacious downstairs toilet. I like the flooring. Yeah, we're off to a good start. That's a good size. So now back in the entrance. So as you come in through the door on the right hand side is the formal living room. Nice interior design. Really Great nice. job to whoever's in charge of that here. It looks really nice. We don't have a bay window. It's a flat window in this room. Yeah. But still good yeah. size. So one big window and then room for TV this side. Okay, let's keep moving through the property. So again, in the hallway, we have a storage cupboard. I know for a lot of people, storage in new builds is something they want to consider. And now let's go into the main area, which is going to be the family living area. Oh, wow. They've done that thing on the kitchen yeah. again with two different tones on the cupboards. It's really interesting. As I mentioned at the start, we've just toured the other house and it have a very similar kitchen design with the two tone effect, but slightly different colors. And this is larger. I don't think I would pick that style. I think it looks too miss and match. I think both styles are okay in themselves, but together I'm not to sure. Yeah, they kind of clash. I'm not sure. Let us know yeah. what you guys think. Yeah. We always like hearing your thoughts too. And this could this could be an island. That would be a nice kitchen island, but then I guess you would need yeah. somewhere to eat actually. I guess it depends how you live. If you want an island and this side, you could have a big table. Yeah, it's true. Or if you have a family, this is a nice space to have another little living area. Yeah, because you've basically got two two lounges with this. In the kitchen then, what we have is the two AEG ovens in the middle. And then we have the fridge this side and the freezer below. <laughs> We've got... Oh, that's good for your spices out. and stuff. Then we've got a combination of drawers here for cutlery. Again, AEG four-ring hob. This washer will be one of these, or neither. <laughs> it'll be this one. That one. Oh, no, it's not. There it is. Siemens dishwasher. Nice. What do you think, Summer 2, the countertop? Yeah, I like it. It's yeah. a kind of white marble. So let's take a look at some of the optional upgrades. So the style is the Cranbrook Platinum. Sorry, it's quite small writing. Fridge freezer, as we talked about, is the Siemens 5050, and that's integrated. We've got the Siemens dishwasher, and then the utility, which we're going to go to next, we've got Siemens washer and tumble dryer. We have waste disposal, that's good. And the work surface is silestone in white arabesque, including the splashback. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Okay. What about in that cupboard there? Yeah, good point. Under stair storage? Yeah. Yeah, not bad, to be fair, not bad storage. Yeah, that is good. I think if you've got enough room for Hoover, you know, all of that stuff. I think new homes can encourage people to be a bit more minimal. A lot of people have a lot of junk. <laughs> yeah, a lot of clutter. <laughs> yeah. So this is the utility area. Obviously you've got the two spaces for the washer and the dryer, and then the boiler at the top. And then you've also got your back door just there. Yeah, okay. I do like that this whole open plan is at the very back of the house and you've got your view out to your garden and the doors. Yeah, let's show the garden a bit more as well. So I know what you guys are thinking, how nice would it be to have all of that area as oh, your yeah. garden? 
they just haven't segregated it yet. It's still nice. I Always like helps as well when there's a blue sky. Yeah, definitely. I like the patio area they've put at the back. All right, I think we're rambling a bit in here, aren't we, Simma? Yeah, so let's keep the tour sense. going. So we've shown these two areas, we're back at the main entrance, we're gonna head to the first floor. Okay, so we have four bedrooms up here. They all look to be a reasonable size. Let's head into this bedroom first. It's quite fun, ex fun exploring it for it the is, first it? time. It's nice to show the you know first reaction as, as if we are just looking around it. So this is dressed as a kid's room, as we can see. And this one has the view onto the garden. Yeah. You know, for a kid's room, I guess you've got everything you need, haven't you? A bed, desk, and some clothes. I do know that they do put smaller beds in showrooms to make the room look yeah. bigger. That's a good point. Because I always think, oh, there's quite a good amount of floor space here. As you can see, they've put a desk behind Matt. Yeah. But then you look at the bed, and the bed is actually quite small for a double bed. Yeah, I can tell you for sure, if I lied on that, my feet would be off the end. <laughs> yeah, your feet would be hanging off. Yeah. Okay, let's... Let's check out the other bedrooms. Go to this one. So this is a bedroom at the front of the house. Would you say this is a master bedroom, sir? Yeah, I would say this is the master bedroom one on the... Over here, bedroom one, it says, so yeah. yeah. Bedroom one with the ensuite. We've got the war, um, we've got the wardrobe with the bronze. <laughs> we've got the wardrobes with the bronze mirrors as well, which do make you look better. I must admit. No, do make me look better. <laughs> you always look better. I look like I'm about to go rob a bank or something. And I'll show you guys the view. So we've got fields at the front. And they've put this at the end of the bed. Okay, let's head into the ensuite. Yeah, you've got the porcelain osa floor tiles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I spent about two minutes revising that word while you were over there. You keep reading the little notes. And yeah, I'm trying to understand what the materials are. How would you pronounce that word? Okay, let me show it first. So this is the shower. So, I want, I want to hear you say it. Porcelanosa. Yeah, that's what I said. That sounds yeah. good. Okay, let's head into the next room. Yep, next room. By the way, the loft access is there. There we go. So this would be bedroom four, currently set up as a home office, ideal for people working from home. It could be a single room, couldn't it? I love the fake MacBooks that they put in as well. That's a nice shelf over there. Yeah. What's great about looking around these homes, even if you aren't thinking of buying somewhere yourself, just to get some interior design inspiration. Mm. Let's head over to this side of the stairs. Yeah, so this is going to be bedroom two. Again, this is at the front of the property. Got lots of wardrobe space all the way back here. Yeah, got whip of their um, hinged wardrobes, Nero dark sliding, and they've got silver mirror doors okay. on the inside. And then we've obviously got the two drawer chest and the five drawer chest here as well. I wonder if you can buy them fully furnished, like the show home furnished. I'm, yeah, I'm sure you can buy the show home. They usually sell quite quickly, don't they? Yeah. Because people come in and they love the furniture. Where are you going? We've done that oh, yeah. side. <laughs> Sorry guys, back to this side. This is the herring cupboard with the water. Okay. And the main fire in the bathroom. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you've got a single door cabinet mirror, porcelain osa tiles again, and half height wall tiling throughout this bathroom as well. They're always handy for your yeah, storage. Yeah. I'm liking the layout upstairs on this one with the master bedroom around the corner and this one here. I yeah. like that. Yeah. What do you guys think of this house? Let us know. Again, this is priced at around 410,000. What would this be in your area, do you think? Do you know if it would be wildly different? and make sure you're commenting where you want us to tour next as well. Okay, we're gonna head back downstairs now. I believe this is the alarm system that you get as well. Yeah, we used one of these the other day. So you have like a fob. That's good. And then we've got this therma. Actually not sure what that does, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a temperature, isn't it? Yeah, but it wasn't clicking. Nothing no. was coming up. So I'm back in the kitchen. That about wraps up this property tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, we've got loads of other new build tours on our channel and loads on the way. So make sure you subscribe to see more of those. 
If you like this video, please remember to like this video. Massively appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.